Welcome everybody to this new video of online media. Today I'm going to be showing you how to get started and of course changing your Shopify website and turn it into an actual WordPress in 2024. So it's going to be a really easy tutorial. The very first thing I wanted to do is to set up a WordPress site. So to get started, what I wanted to do is to go directly inside my WordPress. It's going to be a really easy process. If you don't have one, I'm going to leave you the link down below in the description so you can get started with an actual great deal with the actual WordPress. Now here, what I wanted to do is to choose a hosting provider. So the hosting provider can be helping you to get started. Usually you're using Pantheon, which is totally for free. You can use some other that can help you with the actual tool of WordPress. So once you have logged it in directly inside the actual WordPress, what you want to do is to go into your administrator dashboard. We are now into the actual dashboard of my WordPress and you can see that here into the left part, it's my actual site. So I have the site and I have the store. So usually we don't have absolutely anything. What you wanted to do is to add our stuff, first of all, uh, from Shopify directly into WordPress. So what I want to do now is to install the essential plugin. So by installing the essential plugin to help the migration to enhance our WordPress, let's go and scroll here all the way down and look out for plugins. Inside plugins, I'm going to click in it and I'm going to click out for the option that says add a new plugin. Inside them, I wanted to focus and install the WooCommerce. Now, the WooCommerce is going to be helping us to install and activate the WooCommerce handle the e commerce functionality. So, once you have the WooCommerce, it should be added here into the left pod. So, if you don't find it, let's go click here. It says search plugins, just type the word Woo, and automatically here it is the WooCommerce. So, hit now into the install and activate it. Once you have successfully done that, then what you can do is to install the import plugins. So search for the installation of the FG Shopify to the WooCommerce plugin to help migrate your Shopify data. So also what you can do is to install Elementor or another way page builder for an easy design customization. So if I click into the upper side, I'm going to type the word Shopify. And it's going to be showing you lots of applications where I can just get started in. What you're actually looking for is for an application that can be helping you to use all your elements and import them directly inside the Shopify. So there's two solutions in here. Whether you wanted to, let's say, make the migration of the whole website and add it directly into Shopify, or what you can do is to just focus into your products, into all your collections, the title, the description, absolutely anything, download it and import it directly into Shopify. The last thing you need to do is to just change the theme. It's gonna be looking a little bit different than the actual WordPress, but I believe it's the most fast and easy solution to import and to send from one uh, website directly into the other one. So just install the WGP Shopify and it, what you can do is to choose to import the Shopify to WGP and activate it. Once you activate this step, what you want to do is to look out for your actual plugin into the left part. In this case, it should be appearing into settings, but if you don't see it, what you can do is just to try to reload the page and your actual plugin should be appearing in here. So as you can see, we have the store address, the API key, the API access token, or the API secret. So what I need to do is to use this actual element in order to import my Shopify development store. So what I can do is to go directly inside uh, Shopify. Let's go into settings. And here, what you want to do is to look out for developer applications. So into the left part, focus into apps and sales channel. Inside here, I'm going to go for develop apps. And here into develop apps, what you can do is to add a custom developed uh, development application. So I create a new one. And in this case, it should be appearing in WordPress. Our developer should be ourselves. I'm going to hit now into continue. And as you can see, here are our configurations, our API credentials. Just go directly here and copy and paste all this information inside the actual WordPress. Once you have added all of those elements, what you can do is now to check out all this element of ribbon and pull it directly inside your store. Now, the second solution that I can give you just in case it wasn't successful is to do the same thing, but now inside Shopify. So for that, I'm going to go into my Shopify store, I have created my account, go for applications. Here into application, just type the word WordPress. 
and here you're going to go for search WordPress Shopify applications. This one should be taking us into lots of applications that I can just use to, let's say, install and import all my stuff directly inside the WordPress. The last solution is to go back directly into your WordPress. Into WordPress, let's go and scroll all the way down and look out for settings. A little up where it says tools, let's look out for export uh, section. Here into export, what you want to do is to export here all my products. The creation order refunds should not be important, so I just focus into the products. And export the download file here, as you can see here is my XML. So what I need to do is now to go back into my Shopify, go into my products, and look out for add product, or choose the option that says import into the upper side says import. And here I just copy and paste the poll, uh, the WordPress that was generated, of course, for us. And here I can add now my new products and automatically should be appearing here into Shopify. So there are three solutions that I can give you. To do the last process, let's say for example manually, for example what you can do is to export all your pages, all your variations, all your refunds, all your coupons and add it directly into Shopify one by one important with the actual XML file that was imported there. You can even create an actual theme creation inside the website, the online store and hit into the three dots and hit into add to your theme and upload a zip file so you can upload all your actual elements and create an actual Shopify theme totally by yourself. So that guys is how we can get started by importing all our elements from WordPress directly inside the actual Shopify. So there are a few stuff to be focusing on but I think that we covered the basics and using our new Shopify uh, store. I can tell you guys that actually is really worthy to try it out and import stuff from Shopify or to start totally from scratch. The actual online store here into Shopify is really affordable, it's really great. So you can just take your time and import your data. It's not that hard, it's really easy actually. So hopefully this was a very useful information for you. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel if you want to receive more great tools into only media. Thank you so much for watching the video. Hopefully we can all see you next time.